Okay, this is a quick uh, tutorial for TVRA 140 on uh, using Real Player to download a music video slash music so you can bring it into Premiere. Okay, so once you've uh, downloaded and installed Real Player, right, you go into your account, open it up Real Player, and then the, the easiest way I'm finding is the upper left hand corner of the interface, Real Player, up in the left hand corner, there's a little drop down. Click on that. Go down to download a video. Okay, when you click on this, it opens up what's called the downloader. Okay, and this is where you're going to uh, click here and you'll be able to paste the URL uh, or the link that you want to go and download. Now you're going to get ads and stuff flying around, just ignore all that stuff. Okay, but if you choose, when you install Real Player, it will by default create folders where these downloads will go. You can keep those if you like. It's going to be like on your C drive and it's going to like your user folder. It's going to tell you. Okay. But if you want to dictate where it goes, you can control it right here in the real player download. There's another little drop down. Click here and you go to preferences. When you click on preferences, then it gives you another dialog box where you can say uh, save local files too. Okay. So I redirected mine to my secondary drive, which is a D drive. So this is also where you can check to see where it's defaulting to. So if you want to know where your videos go, this is it's going to tell you right here. Okay, if you want to change that, then you hit browse and you go to wherever it is you want to go. In my case, I'm going to stick with where I'm going here because I have a secondary drive for media and I would prefer not to bring this into my C drive, which is where my applications live. Now, having said that, I haven't had problems with the ones I did download to the C drive. It seems pretty safe. This is a very legitimate company, legitimate uh, piece of software. But anyway, that's my, I'm going to do that. Feel free to do it. Then you come down here, hit OK. So that applies that. And then you come back into your little download link, opens the window, go to YouTube. Hopefully you've got that already pulled up. I'm going to come down here, click share so I can get the link, copy it. Right, and then jump back into Real Player. I'm sorry, the downloader. And on your taskbar, you should see the download. You got Real Player, and then you got the little download. It's got a little arrow. You can click right back into that. You're going to have to click the download a video again and then paste the link. There it is. Then you click download. And this will begin. It will search for your video. Give it a second. And once it does, it'll pull it up in this, in this window. Okay, you can just click download this video and it will download the default resolution, but you have options. Okay, below here you, you have a little window that says download, more download options. Click on that little down drop side of the drop window and click again in this, in this bar and you have uh, Ultra HD, which really you don't want. That's a waste of your time. It's going to suck up a lot of space. You don't need that high resolution. We're doing uh, 1080. This is high quality 720, which is fine. I'm going with faster download because you're only interested in the music here. So you really don't care about the quality of the video. Might as well save some space and get a faster download. Okay, this will give you a 480p uh, MPEG-4, which is perfectly fine. Click download this video and give it a second to begin the download. It will give you a uh, progress here, gives you your option. It shows you right here what you're doing, faster download and your video quality, which is 480p. So for audio, that's fine. It's gonna be an MPEG-4, it's gonna work just fine for what you're doing, there it comes, it imports it, it brings it in, boom, there it is. You have other options here, which we're really not that worried about. So now it is in your hard drive, right? So now you can go to Premiere, right? So you got Premiere here, and I'm gonna go ahead and import it, double click in my project panel, and sure enough, it shows up in that folder I told it to be in, Right, there it is, and I click on it, open, and it comes in, right? And I can double click it and of course open it up in my um, source panel, there it is. Okay, so there it is, I know it's there. No, I don't want the video, I just want the audio, right? So I've already created a sequence, as you can see here, right? And I've made that sequence uh, 90, 20, 1080. Here I just come to the source panel and I click on the icon here, the drag audio only. It's that little, we've looked at this before, right? 
and it's uh, a way for you to only drag the audio. Click on that, bring it down, right? Click and drag and drop it down into audio one, and there you go. You've got and you've got your music and your timeline. Okay, if for some reason you have a hard time doing that, which you shouldn't, you can always do this. Option two, just grab the middle of the, of the video, the entire clip, drag it down. You'll get the video and the audio. It's going to ask you, do you want the clip to match the sequence settings? Change sequence to match the clip settings. Say no, keep existing settings. Okay, that's going to keep your 1920. So this is a lower resolution clip. So it's, of course, the video is going to look smaller. We don't care about that, right? You still got your music, right? As you can see, you're probably going to have to adjust the level a little bit. Not a problem. But if you bring in both the video and the audio, you can you can separate the, uh, the video by right-clicking on the clip in the timeline. And I'm going to show you this in class, but for now I'll show you. You go to unlink. When you click that, that actually unlinks them. So they're not um, synchronized anymore or linked. And so now you can click on the video and just basically delete it. Okay, and now your audio remains. Right, and then here I would have to probably drop this a little bit. So I'm going to drop this maybe a couple dB. Right, and that's it. So that's um, how you that's how you bring the um, uh, use Real Player to download your video and your audio and bring your audio into Premiere in the timeline.